There it is. Right through there. Nice. Oil cooler stuffs. This is what we're doing today. Is that what we're doing today? I think so. Nice. So, more importantly than oil cooler stuff, I got one of my sun visors installed. I ordered them back up. I ordered some new sun visors because I was missing one. So I ordered them from a guy on, I don't know, Facebook Marketplace or whatever. Super nice guy. He sent them to me. $35 shipped. Super cheap because on eBay, used ones are like 65 bucks. <sighs> anyway, I want to get them recovered. They look fine, but I just want to get them recovered with something ridiculous. And Ronnie suggested... Eggplant emojis. <laughs> <laughs> Eggplant emojis. Like I'm going to have dick emojis all over my sun visors. So I'll see if I can work that out. We'll see. We'll see. We have to find the fabric. Somebody asked me something like that, or like poop emoji. If you make uh, emoji fabric, um, hit us up. Let us know, because we'll use it. We will definitely use it. Ronnie might use it for his door cards. <laughs> yeah, we'll use it. That'd be hilarious. Right on, right on. All right. Are you ready for this? Dude, I'm ready. Are you guys ready? What's up? So I went on Amazon, as per usual. And I ordered an oil cooler. Hold up. Amazon, sponsor us. Um, we'll link this down in the description. It's our affiliate link, so we'll get a little kickback if you guys order it. But it's an oil cooler. And this is my favorite part, because if you've ever changed the oil on your hard body, you know... Fram oil filters are your favorite part? No, Fram <laughs> is garbage. But this oil filter relocation kit. Dude, it's good looking, dude. It's good looking. So, it's kind of spaghetti-ish. Spaghetti-ish. Yeah, there's just like a lot of lines going everywhere. I wish it would focus so people can see how pretty it is. So does this have a mount on the back side? Like yeah, back it has a little, a little metal tab that you tighten down. Let me see if we can see it. Uh, yes, we can see it. So yeah, it has that. It's not like great, like, but it's not going anywhere either. Boing, boing. So. And it came with these lines? It came with these lines. But okay, okay. What all came with what? Okay, so it came with oil cooler, lines, three lines, the adapter plate for down here, and the oil filter relocation. Okay, let's look at this adapter plate also. It's a good looking adapter plate. Yeah, it's whatever. It's whatever. Um, the one thing that kind of sucks about the kit is it doesn't have a thermostat. So you're going to have to run a oil temperature gauge or put in like an aftermarket thermostat. Neither one's really that big of a deal. Um, it came with like adapters, so you can put it on like any car, is the story that they tell you. So you run the thermostat, is it like to make sure that your oil's not getting too cool? Yes, so you run a thermostat because like as your motor's warming up, the oil takes a lot longer to warm up than cool. Okay. And if, you're, if your oil's too cold, it stays thick, so it doesn't have the like lubricating properties that it should, and it can cause you to like spin a bearing, things like that. You all may know this, but because um, we've said it in videos before, but I know this much about cars compared to Ronnie. This much right here. That's what I know. Which is sad. It's really sad because I've done like suspension stuff and I've done motor swaps and you know I've done some pretty significant things to cars, but uh, I just don't retain information like Ronnie does. It's probably because I'm old. He's like half my age. <laughs> You look, you look kind of young with your But he has like three times my sleep drive. He goes to bed at like seven in the night. <laughs> like an old man wakes up, has his coffee, sitting on the front porch yeah. in a rocking chair. <laughs> He's like, that's the life. Maybe on my riding lawnmower. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, that's everything it comes with. It comes with like a little clamp, but I don't really see a place to like put a little clamp. So how much, how much was it on Amazon? How much did we pay for it? Like 120 bucks. 120 bucks? Yeah, something like that. That's inexpensive. Yeah, it's not much. And, uh, Is this a 19 row intercooler? Yeah. I mean, I said intercooler, oil cooler. Yes, it is that. This is it, right here. The um, one problem. The one problem. So a people, tiny, tiny problem. People have complaints on this. I don't know if you can see this. Well, let it focus. Hang on. There it goes. But there's two nicks. On the ceiling surface? Yeah, we can see that. So it's going to leak. So we have to fix that. Okay. Not a huge deal. We'll, uh, we'll get some pipe dope. But 
So you said we're gonna get some pipe dope and put it on there? Yeah, pipe dope, put it on there. And that they say works. Don't use, yeah, they say don't use Teflon tape because Teflon tape will uh, like separate and it'll clog the hole. Oh, okay. So, I'm so just pipe dope. Research. Yeah, some pipe dope. Done. So done, done. The other option is they make they make tools that'll like reflare this. I think I'm way too close to you. I can smell you, that means I'm too close to you. <laughs> they'll uh, they'll reflare this and they'll reflare the fittings. They make tools to do that. Oh, really? Yeah, I just can't find them. Like, I know they make them because I've seen people in videos be like, yeah, it got nicked, so we're going to use this tool, and, and they fix it. But, like, I looked, and I couldn't find it. The other option is you can go on, like, Summit or Jegs, and they make copper washers that go here, and so then as it clamps, the copper washer fills in all the holes, which may end up being what we ordered. I okay. We're, we're a little ways off from having it running, so I still have some time to figure out how, like, right I want to do things. Right on. So, but yeah, that's where we're at. We're making mounts and we're putting it on the truck. Well, let's do it. Alright. Yep. So, the one complaint I have about the kit is the lines are super long. This is all the hose that I cut off. Um, so I cut all that off. This was like way over here. It ran and... So anyways, and then the other thing I had to do was this was a straight end and I turned it into a 45. So I have a 45 here, a 90 there, two straights up here, and then this is a straight and it's going to go like that, and then this is a 90 and it's going to go like that. And the oil cooler is going to mount right here. I already built this mount. It's going to weld on here. We're going to weld that up, and then we've got to build one to go over here, and it'll weld up on there. So Ronnie and I just got back from Harbor Freight. We had to run and get some... Um some nuts and some bolts, that sort of thing. Um, and I got these new sunglasses. So, big reveal, new sunglasses for Bo. I already, I already gave him the big reveal, new sunglasses for me. Oh, nice. Yeah, dude. Nice. Anyways, uh, we actually got something else. Let's see. Let's go over here and see what we got. So we are so excited. This is really going to like kick everything into, into high gear. There it is. We got a new welder. So Ronnie's going to learn how to TIG, right, Ronnie? That's the plan. <laughs> it might take a while. Ronnie's going to learn how to TIG. And we're thinking that because of this, we can go ahead. We don't have to wait on anybody else to weld. We can just go ahead and finish up the uh, suspension on the truck ourselves. Because what we needed was a, uh, a welder that runs off 220, so it's powerful enough. Because, we're because the, you know, the suspension components are pretty thick. But uh, we're going to say bye to this old welder right here. Because it took a crap on us. And say hello to new boy over here. Shiny boy. Weldy boy. Are you talking while I'm talking? Yeah. Okay, what's up? I said I'm probably going to try to fix this. Yeah, and just use it for little stuff? Use it, sell it, give it to you. I don't know. <laughs> He's going to jerry-rig it and be like, here, happy birthday, Bo. Happy here, Bo. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> hey, the FedEx guy's here. Oh, no way. Oh, what did we get? What did we get? I'm so excited. There goes Ronnie. He just hit me. He just hit me on the butt. He's pretty excited. He's going to get car parts. I'm glad y'all could witness this. He's pretty nuts. It is, car parts. it is car parts. That's right. I don't know. Let's go see. I'll be with y'all in a second. Oh, Levi's excited about car parts too. No, not sure. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. <laughs> this is way better than the welder. What do we got there? It looks like Tomei. Dude, stop. stop. Eagle. It's a later video. <laughs> it's a later video. We have to wait till tomorrow for the rest of this. Ronnie's being a prude. He's not going to give it up for us. I guess this, we'll see what this is in the next video. <laughs> Alright, setup was pretty quick. What, five minutes? Yeah, dude. Put it together in five minutes. Set it up in five minutes. It has a nice chart on the inside. It tells you about like all your settings and stuff, depending on what uh, size metal you're welding. Levi, Levi, go on over there. Go on over there, we're about to start welding. Go on, nope, over there, over there, over there, over there. Right over, right over there. Go over there. There you go. You need your eyes for when you're bigger and dumb like us.
You know what? It sounds a lot cleaner. Do we just blow a fuse? Probably. Blow a breaker? breaker. Yeah. <laughs> just flip the breaker. All right. Two to put in the 220 mode. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Turn the voltage down a little bit. It seems to be doing okay. Seems to be doing better. Not kicking off breakers. I'm gonna try and go slow. Can you turn the wire speed down there? Yes. Yeah. Wire speed down to one twenty-five. Twenty-four. Whatever. How'd welding go with our new machine? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it was so nice to have that welder. Ronnie's giddy. <laughs> like, like, it was so amazing. Like, we bought that welder, you know, and what did I pay for these? Like, 200 bucks, 400 bucks for yeah. the welder in the plasma yeah. car? That thing is a piece of junk compared to this machine. <laughs> so this is a really good machine. I, I noticed when you were welding, it sounds like butter, dude. dude. It sounds so smooth. It's so smooth and, like, these welds are like on here, I'm not super <laughs> Which is the about point them. of like welding. Breaking off, <laughs> you know, and they like look decent, even though I'm kind of garbage. <laughs> like, I don't know, that's exciting. Like, it just, it did really well. Excellent. It, it did really well. Awesome, awesome. So, we got the first bracket on. Yeah. And we're, we're mocking up the, inner, the uh, oil cooler here. Where's the, where's the next one going? On this. Okay. Have you already got the bracket made? I have not. Okay. I have not yet. So. So this is where we're at. Right here. We just need to kind of measure out and cut this bracket out. Yep. We just got to make this bracket, weld it on here, bolt it up, finish up the lines, and we're done. Dang, it's dude. pretty simple. Super simple. Pretty simple. This is a good location. You said it wouldn't fit. There's these two brackets here that, that probably would have been pretty useful, but you said it wouldn't fit over here? Yeah. Th this holds on the bumper. Okay. Um, And I wanted it to go behind here. Yeah. But the problem was, I wouldn't be able to like run the lines anywhere. Oh, that's a good point. And then on top of that, it hit the bumper over here. Like oh, the okay. Bumper wrapped, it, it hit the bumper. So I'd have to like scoot it over real tight to this. And then I was worried about like these bolts coming through and hitting it. So I just decided to put it here. Yeah. The last thing we want is an oil leak on track. Yeah, that would be terrible. <laughs> like be ripping on it and be like, yeah, it's spewing oil over <laughs> so That'd be even it. Yeah, dude. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's hit this other bracket. This is our metal brake. Add it to the list of shit we need to buy. Right? We just gotta Neanderthal it. Looks good though. Dude, it does look good. Looks pro. Looks alright though. Now, let's go on here. It's very tiny. Dude, that fits good. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> it's a little tight. I probably just one bead, huh? That's what I'd say. Alright, let's check it like on there. Do you will flip that machine on? I will flip this machine on. <laughs> Ready when you are. So we got here. <clears throat> Should we use two bolts aside? Yeah. I mean Holy moly, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the moving. Same thing happened when I finished the V mount on my RX7. Like I grabbed a hold of it and went to wiggle it and it just shook the car. That's all <laughs> it did. And I was like, okay, that's probably good. I mean these aren't even tight. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I think it's good. Dude, this new welder, though. Whoever bought it. Good job. Good I found selection. This one. You found what? The water? Yeah. Nice. Can you open it? I can't. You can't? You want some help? Yeah. Here, hold on to the bottle, real good. Hold on to the bottle, and I'm going to turn it. Oh, you found a frozen one. <laughs> 
You're not going to be able to drink it. It's solid frozen. I don't think you're going to be able to drink this, dude. I will open it and you can see. Hang on a second. Here, can you hold this camera? Like this? Yeah. Okay, just hold that and I'll open this. There you go. And look. <laughs> it's frozen solid. Here, point it up here. Hello. Here, look, look, through, look through the window. You see what's going on? You Here, see both? Hold on to it. Yeah. Hold the camera. Hold, on, hold the camera. There you go. That's how you video right there. Boom. You just learned how to be a videographer. And yeah. And make a movie one day. Here, I'll trade you. There you go. You should be able to get the top off now. Hold on to it real tight. Hold on real tight. You're not holding tight. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it real hard. There you go. Now you can get the top off. And your dad's done. Over here. Dude, that looks good. <laughs> Dude, it cracks me up. Like, how well it's on there. What, you need 10 millimeter to tighten those up? Yeah, it's a little hot. I'm gonna wait. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the cooler out. And I'm gonna paint all this black again. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, my gosh. Have you got some black spray paint? I do, I got a bunch. Okay, right. well, let's do that. Or you want to wait for it to cool down? Yeah, I'm going to wait for it to cool down. Okay. It's hot. <laughs> the great thing about having a drift truck, dude. You don't have to worry about taping off anything. You just spray because everything's already flat black. <laughs> everything's already black, so just spray away. You can like get some touch up going on, you know? Yeah, man. Touch here. up everything yeah, else. That's not that frozen water. No, that's not frozen water. You all done? Yeah. That's not frozen water. Alright, dude. <laughs> Dang, what a successful day. Successful day. We've been productive for the last two hours. <laughs> Boom. Nice. <laughs> two hours of, of being productive is, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's a lot for us. So we're excited. We're super excited. So where are we at? Um, wait for paint to dry, and then mount the air cooler, put the bumper back on, or the oil cooler, and the inner cooler, because it mounts to the bumper. So, <laughs> um, put that on, and I don't know, and that's it. Well, we can go back together. Nice. Well, let's do that. This paint should probably dry pretty quick, and then uh, we'll give you a shot of it all finished up. There it is, all installed, tightened up, lines attached. Man, it's looking good. I almost wish this was on the outside of the bumper, Bosa Zoku style. I know, like, <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't know. I really want to keep the truck Did you like, just caress it? Yeah. <laughs> I want to keep the truck like somewhat stealthy. Yeah, dude, like Which, a sleeper. I don't know, maybe that sounds like ridiculous, like knowing what's happening to the truck and everything. I don't think it's ridiculous. I mean, it's still going to have a side pipe. But other than that, like, besides cool wheels, like, I want it to look fairly stock. Right on. We'll do it. Anyway. All right, let's get this bumper and intercooler attached and whatnot. It? Hand you the bumper? Yeah. God, but I've got the camera. Come on. <laughs> Whatever. So, Ronnie made a couple rough cuts in the bumper here to make room for the oil lines. Put the bumper all the way on and we'll see how it works. Looks like it's going to be fun. Because this one over here, was it was just barely not touching. We just wanted a little more clearance. This one was touching pretty hard, as you can tell. But it's nice to have that extra clearance around there. Yeah, we probably should have sucked that in, but... You should money. suck it in. Yeah, it's gonna work just as well as anything else, you know. All right, more pieces we have to trim. So we got the bumper on. Can move that. That worked out real good. Bolt cooler's right there. Trimmed out. We had to put a new bolt and so a new spray paint. <laughs> and what are we trimming off of this? What are we trimming off of this? Um, from here to there, and I'm just gonna do it. Oh, you're just gonna cut all that out. Somewhere along there. Yeah. Okay. Because the line kind of runs right there. Well, I'll hold it. You cut it. So. <laughs> all right, we have to trim these uh these fins right up through here. 
But it fit pretty good. It fits. It works. And you said this is not the one that's going on here? No. Oh, okay. You I mean, we one. may end up, we may end up being the one that we put on here just because we already trained it. What's that in your mouth, Ronnie? Drift car. Drift car stuff? <laughs> Cable ties, a.k.a. zip ties. This is how we put our cars together. <laughs> Look at this. Look how easy it is to put drift cars together. Let's take a look. Can you even tell? Back to factory. Boom. No, you can't even see the freaking oil cooler. Mm -hmm. It's all like incognito. There it is. Right through there. Nice. Functional holes in the bumper. That's it. Done. Dude. <laughs> and we got a new welder out of it. Yeah. Good <laughs> We always, uh, not always, but a lot of times we end up spending a little more than we thought we would on projects. I, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty normal thing, right? I think, I think that's everybody. <laughs> usually, it's, usually it's spending more time then you think you're going to spend like, oh, a 30 minute project ends up being four days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this actually went pretty smoothly. Even though we had to fabricate a few things, it went yeah, pretty no, quick, went easy. pretty good. Yeah. The biggest pain in the butt was going to get the one. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, folks. That's it. Oil cooler on your hard body. Uh, and like Ronnie said, we'll have the link in, link in the uh, description below. Awesome. If you buy it, it helps us survive. <laughs> That's it. It's all over for today. Later. <laughs>